HGPNZ crew, Sam here, giantpumpkins.co.nz. It is almost the start of the giant pumpkin growing season. In the last video, I chucked down some polythene on the Tiny Patch 2.0 in the hopes that it's going to kill some grass and save me some time when it comes to growing pumpkins. We'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I have to scrounge around and figure out what I've got on hand. Now, I have written a blog post about this before, you can read that here. And it's a great time to think about what you have. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a first-time grower or a seasoned pro, have a think about what you have on hand. So, first off, do you have giant pumpkin seeds? Atlantic Giant is what you need. I do have a bunch of those. I may try and ask somebody for some different ones, uh, just because the ones I've got may or may not have the best genetics that I could possibly get. But at the end of the day, I'm not too worried about that. Next step, I'm thinking about those giant pumpkin seeds. Do I have seed raising mix? I do. I've got a bag here that's been sealed since last year. Should be all good. Don't have a problem with that. Just needs a bit of water added to it. Maybe I'll check it out and make sure I'm not breathing on those dust fumes because that can be very dangerous. I like using the paper towel method and the plastic bag. I've got those. I've got the uh, budget nail files to do the edges of the seeds. I'm happy with that. Pots, I've also got those. Marker pegs, I find them very helpful when you've got multiple seedlings on the go and um, if they're different uh, types or different um, genetics, it pays to make sure you're keeping track of that. Next step on from that, do I have a warm area and location to grow those seedlings or start them in? Yes, uh, worst case scenario is I can use the hot water cupboard upstairs. Next step up from that, I do have a heat mat with a thermostat. I find this very, very helpful, especially early in the start of the growing season. So um, I recommend them. It's not for everyone. They're pretty cool. So I use that with in conjunction with a little plastic box I have. I have a temperature probe, which is just a simple aquarium thermometer and also the thermostat can also help regulate that temperature so i've got all that down pat happy with that when it comes to patch prep product i still have some of the fracilizer and the insect frass left over from last year i also have a tub of well matured mushroom compost i didn't use all of the stuff that i got last year so I'm going to use the rest of that this year. Tools and stuff, I didn't get around to getting a broad fork. That's the only thing that I really wanted. They're very expensive, didn't have the cash for that new job and all. So that's okay. I have some seed starting, seed rooting product. Not really sure what it's called. I've got a couple of that. There's two different types of that. So I'm going to use them again. It's always tough for me to figure out if they how well they work, but... They don't seem to slow things down and they don't seem to cause any problems. So let's go with that and say they're good. Probably lacking in some fertilizer. Probably need to get some more basic stuff to douse the plant with. Hoses, sprinklers, watering wands. Uh, because I'm growing in such a tiny patch, I don't need a big setup. I can use pretty much everything I've used in the past. I do have a water liter meter. In a nutshell, it can tell me how much water I'm putting onto the patch. I probably will get some shade cloth, maybe? I don't know. That's what I really need, but we'll see how that goes. I got some old sleeping bags, of all things, in orange, of course. And uh, they will be pretty good to keep the pumpkin warm in those cooler nights. I do need to track down a white sheet that will provide protection uh, during the hot summer days. I think I have things under control. If you're brand new to giant pumpkin growing, of course, just make sure you've got the seed and an area to grow. Dig up as much as you can. Consistent watering is good. A general all-purpose soluble fertilizer. There's some good seaweed and fish-based ones. I like those. And uh, that'll get you started. Don't worry about too much. You can obviously do more if you want. Just don't get put off thinking that you need everything all in one go in your very first year growing. That's my top tip for people. That's about it. Okay, uh, I'm Sam from giantpumpkins.co.nz. Check out the website, sign up to the newsletter, and I will catch you next time. Thanks.